everybody. No, I'm not going to say hello, everybody. Okay, so Mike, say hello, everybody. I'm going to say, hello. I'm going to say, we're live, Brian. Go ahead. Hi. <laughs> we are live. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Episode 91 of the Vape Team. We have a special show for you because we have a special guy, and we mean special. We have Matt from Suck My Mod with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He is fresh back from a safari, and he is with us. Matt, what is up, brother? Not much. I had to come back. It got so steamy last time we were talking on the show, and I just had to come back. Yeah. I missed you guys. It was pretty sexual last time. For those of you that don't know, um, everyone knows V, and uh, she's covered. <laughs> uh, Matt is very much in the, into three men at the same time type of situations. Uh, so, yeah, we're all here tonight to support Matt. And uh, love to have him on our show as the guest. And a guy that's no longer a guest, he's actually our junior member. I would like to uh, say hello to Mark Vaping Fagan, junior member of the Vape Team. Hi, welcome. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? You look good. Thank you. You look good too. Thank you. I, I've been using makeup before the Vape Team uh, the past couple weeks. I mean, and the problem is, I think I look so good with the makeup that I've been wearing makeup to work. I've been taking hormones, so I've been doing good. Is my eye red? Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> I anyway, the man with the master plan, King Clouds. Also, he formerly trained at Cobra Kai Dojo as a youngster. Mikey motherfucking vapes. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the vape team. Yeah, the last time I was uh, on here, well, actually, when Matt was on here, I was drunk. So should I start drinking again? Yes. Yeah, Mike was drunk the last time. I remember that. Yeah, that's right. You were in that hotel room. Yep. <laughs> I was yeah, wondering right. why you seem so much more boring this time. Yeah, I'm boring right now. Sorry. I'm just kidding. Dude. <laughs> Speaking of boring, go ahead. Take it away, Mark. Tell us what you're vaping. Oh, okay, I am vaping on the uh, Ticking Time Bomb, also known as the uh, Smoant... Ray box. Hold on, I gotta make it light up. There we go. Uh, on top there, I got the reload RDA with some of this. Oh, don't hummed, hunted, hunted X from. Um, oh Jesus, I don't know who it's from. From <laughs> um, baby clouds. There we go. Also got the Boss Three Thousand with the new iJoy. What are these called, Mike? This like quad series of tanks, the XL. Well, remember, I can't see that angle. Oh yeah, you're on this one. That tank. My <laughs> yes, that's the iJoy uh, XL, the new one. The XO, I think it is the EXO or something like that. XO XL. XO XL. There you go. Um, the Hedron from uh, Vapor Shark with also another XO iJoy tank, and the. Uh, New uh, Fuchai 213 with the two vape decks, RDA, and inside all three of those, some very well-steeped banana bondage. Thank you. Take it away, Brian. Thank you. I will. Uh, I'm actually going to be a little bit of a gentleman, and I forgot Matt is our guest tonight. I'm so used to having a Fagan our guest, but Matt, you are our guest, so why don't you start and tell us what you're vaping on? What do you got? What kind of action? I am vaping on... For what is that? What am I doing in that picture behind you? Like measuring my dick or something? <laughs> That's what it looks. I th yeah, I, th I picked it specifically. I'm this big. <laughs> hey, guys. Look, at, look am... at Mark looking into the future. <laughs> it's like a prophet. I Mark, hate that photo. I fucking love that photo. Go ahead, Matt. I'm sorry. I have the uh, Duos RDTA from Horizon Tech, a triple coil build, which is pretty... Uh, gnarly for me i'm usually a bigger pussy than that and then i also oh i have it on the blazer mod and then i have my uh, staple the kfun v5 on a uh, minikin v2 and i always forgot you guys have like five or six setups on these so i, I only brought two with me but i'm sorry it's no big deal goes along with that little penis i have well, you know, we, we, we actually overcompensate because we have smaller penises than you, so it's all good. Yeah, you could take it either way, for sure. Especially me. Yeah. yeah. Looking, I mean, my whole goal in life is to get a Ferrari, so you can see how big my deck is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what am I vaping on? Well, I'm dripping right now a little bit of pudding powder. I'm elite. Uh, I'm vaping that in my Hexone version 3 with my Goon RDA. My signature tips uh, cap on there. And um, 
I also have the Furion 166 with the Goon LP on there. Uh, I have my other Furion 166 with the Witofo Serpent Mini sitting pretty on there. And I too have a Blazer action, but mine is the Blazer Tank with the Furion or the Triad from Lost Fate, the Lost Fate Triad DNA 250. Um, and then lastly, I am vaping some Hit That Juice, uh, Hit That Donut right here uh, with the Joytech. Mike's going to give me the name. Unimax. 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 The Unimax 25 millimeter uh, mod. This pretty leather gripped little tank slash tubular thingy from Joytech. So that's what I'm taking on tonight. And I also have some banana bondage from AdoreElyquid.com. And I am fucking vaping and enjoying it. It's Thursday night. It's time to spend time with the gentleman. So, Mikey, I need more of that. Hit that juice. I need just a hint, hint. Got it, baby. That's Tonight good. we are vaping on the XORTA with the Therion 166. I love that little sleeve. The, the snake's good. It is dope. It's the only one around. Nobody's got that snake. Skin. Nobody has that. that. Nobody. Everybody's like stalking me for it. I'm also got a Therion Squonker. I got the Pindad drip tank on it, squonking with it. Uh, vaping on the Unibomber from Joytech. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I see Unibomber. The Unimax, I'm sorry. There you go. I got the Finder DNA 250 with uh, the Tornado Hero RTA. Uh, the Q Mini with the OBS engine. Goon LP on the H Cigar 167. And uh, the Cyclone Evo with the Mask RDA. Juices I'm vaping on uh, straight out the toaster. Straight out the toaster. Blackberry yogurts. Sweet Raz. Where's my Joe Turner? Joe Turner. Some uh, Royal Raspberry Custard. And some Elite Pudding Pounder. Elite motherfuckers. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gracias. Yes, yes. Well, there we go. Uh, that's the show for everybody tonight. Thanks for watching, everyone. Matt, thanks for being our guest. Thanks for having me. Peace. Hi, everybody. <laughs> We've been doing four about it. It's called the 12 minute intros. That was a quick one. <laughs> um, so yeah, what do, you, what do you guys think about the Ultim craze that we're currently involved in right now? Everything seems to be Ultim. Is that going to be like a phase that we're dealing with right now because it's the in thing and, and all these companies are going to start doing it? And then once it becomes a standard, nobody's going to want that anymore? Or do you think that's here to stay? I hate the, uh, I mean, it's not, it's a nice material. I'm not a huge fan of the look of it. I mean, it looks like you took like a clear plastic and shoved it up your ass or something, <laughs> but I, I like the material itself. Have we seen any, has anybody done it? Can you coat it or something like that or make it different colors? The only ultimate stuff I have is like this, like what, what Mike has there, you know, that, that kind of whatever. They yeah. I'm, I haven't seen anything. Yeah, I've never uh, seen a different color. The ultimate different color. It's always this color. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. So I'm not a huge fan. I like the material, though. I'm just yeah. not a huge fan of the way. How I is it different than acrylic? Is that, I'm not an expert I in plastics. Can handle and heat. Plastics. It can handle heat better than Delrin, I believe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I noticed that using this top cap compared to uh, the, this top cap for the Goon LP, this one yeah. got real hot. I can't get this. There's no heat transfer, nothing. Okay. Feel. Well, there's a benefit. Mike, what was that company, Foo Long or whatever, that had the Ultim? That, remember that tank that came out that was overly complicated and it had those fucking chambers, U Long or whatever? Yes, I know what you're talking about. It came with the Ultim drip tip, remember? Yeah. That was like the first thing I ever remember having Ultim. There was another company too. Um, what the hell is the name? I did a video for the RDA. And that came with uh, an Ultim drip tip. They call it, it's actually a PEI, something like that. I think it is. It started out like in the high-end world. Like the first time I ever saw it was on like some of the, the high-end 
type, you know, small batch atomizers. And then it kind of, that was like probably two years ago. And then it's getting used more and more now. Yeah. It was called Futon. Thank you, Daniel. Futon. Yeah, there's oh, yeah. That, I know I, I know what atomizer you're talking about. It was overcomplicated. There was yeah. one that had like little dials on the outside that would fall out for juice flow control and airflow control. <laughs> the little sleeve you had to make the coil around you're talking about? That, yeah. No, the one after that. That one, at least you could vape it. This other one had these fucking knobs on the side of it. That were like <laughs> like uh, analog knobs. It was crazy. Too much. He definitely likes to over-engineer his uh, so the quality sometimes, it's sometimes it's a mess for sure. Yeah, but the quality is always there, and the engineering is always really complex, and sometimes, you're like you said, it's fucking awesome, and sometimes it's really lacking. Um, so let's talk for a minute about that thing you were showing off on the oh, before we started the show tonight. Let's talk about that triple coil setup. Can you show everybody that? That's that's fucked up, dude. You're gonna go and call me out because you know it's ugly, huh? I think you're, I think you make it look better. It's it's not the best looking, but it's it's rowdy for sure. What's the resistance on that setup? Point. Oh, now I'm spilling juice because it's got a side fill port. Point three. Point Can three. you mouth to lung that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's. It's actually, you know, like I'm normally like a single or dual coil guy. I've never been into the more coils thing. But it's not bad. I still, I like this atomizer better with two coils instead of three, but um, I filmed the up close on this video tonight and I wanted to uh, try it out in three because it's got, you know, it's made for three coils. I wanted to try it out in the three coil mode. I see you're still rocking that K-Fun. Yeah, it's one of those things that I I always go back to when I, like just got the perfect draw for me, man. Uh, let, check this one out. Oh, nice! Did you get like a, a different uh, cap yep. for it? Yeah, Can that's make... from the steam tuners. Oh yeah, they make cool shit. Yeah, that's the steam tuners one. I fucking love it. It just shortens it down. It just makes yeah, it yeah, that's a sweet. More compact. It, it definitely makes it look cooler. Yep. And you don't have that fat little piece at the top that sticks up that makes your drip tips look awkward. Yeah. Every K fun has had that that fat I little nipple like, at the top. I don't know why. Kind of a European thing too. Like the tall atomizers are in there. They they have been for a few years, like the taller stuff. And they'll have like double stacked, you know, mech mods there still with a fucking super long uh atomizer on it. That's just the thing looks like, you know, Brian's sex toys or whatever. It's true. I have a ton. <laughs> the European uh, styles, like they have that Coke fingernail that's in right now, like on the on the pinky. It's like they like the big things, you know. It's interesting. Hmm, a Coke nail. I gotta get that set up, Mike. Because I lo I actually took my uh, cape on out last night, and uh, look how fucking steep that juice is. That's been sitting in there for three months. <laughs> it's not a perfect atomizer or anything, but I just always go back to it. It's got it's like. Fits me well. I see the, you all the time in all your uh, vlogs or whatever you do. When you're not doing a review, you always got that in your hands. Yeah, I use it the most for sure out of out of any of my tanks. It's got to be the best for flavor, I think. The K Fun. Yeah. It brings so, out it brings out flavors in liquid that I've never even noticed before. What's good about it is you're getting a good vape. Uh, it's got a nice flavor, restrictive lung hit, and it doesn't do like just over massive clouds everywhere. Cloud yeah, up everything. You don't go through 60 mils a day. No, it's, just great, babe. it's kind of funny because like the OG K fun fans, a lot of them hated this one because of the airflow. But yeah. for me, I loved that they loosened it up a little bit. Yep. Um, so Matt, let's talk for a minute. For those that don't know, Matt has uh, expanded his horizons and he has uh, started a new channel. Why don't you tell the audience about your new channel, why you started it, what was the purpose, how you're enjoying it, how's it going, hard things that are difficult about it, everything. Let's, let's talk about that a little bit. I know it's not vaping, but you're a vape guy, so I think it's it's good to talk about. You're our guest. Yeah, it's going. What are you doing to your fingers there, dude? I don't know. I, I'm feeling <laughs> I have anxiety issues. Are you cutting your nails? <laughs> No, I was stabbing my fingers because I'm dealing with anxiety. Right That's now. what I have. You got to get into knives, man. These are so fun to play. I don't ever oh, fucking use Don't them. bust out knives. Mark, get yours out. Here we go. Mine's broke, They're though, so but I can still use it. it. You see this one? Nice. <laughs> my broken switchblade? 
Yeah, so. I just, I'll be in like bed and like Vanessa's sleeping and I'll wake her up just flicking knives. It's, that shit, I got a fucking lights. It's, it's got the window smasher. Oh, yeah, those are sweet. Brian, you need, uh, what are those things called? Uh, the spin thing? And you're, that's so popular now? No, I like to cut myself. And... <laughs> well, Matt, Matt's got to have this stuff. One of my little things that I do, and it's like a habit, I flick my sack. Oh, the sp- I haven't gotten into the spinners yet. I might. But, uh, yeah, it hasn't been my thing yet. Anyway, about the channel. <laughs> um, why we started it was just for, you know, we were doing, like, some vlogs on the vape channel. And we just decided it didn't, you know, it doesn't really fit that well on, the, on that channel. So then we decided to start a separate channel. And we still have some vlogs on there, but it kind of turned into just, like, goof videos, basically, where we just do stuff that we think is funny. Some of them are better than others, for sure. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's been fun. We, we're, we stuck, we're, we have a schedule Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it's definitely challenging. It's not like a vape channel, you know, where you know what you have stuff to make a video about, right? You know, okay, I have this, I can make a video on this. Like it's challenging coming up with, with different ideas of, you know, three times a week, but it's been, it's been fun for sure. One of the things I noticed is, is that it sort of allows, at least for myself, to see you in a different light to see a different side of your personality and, and watching your other videos on your regular channel, you seem more comfortable, like a little bit more like you t- don't, not that you ever took yourself too seriously, but it just feels like you're more in your element right now than you were for a while. You sort of hit like a dry patch and, and it seems like you're yeah. back. I mean, I'm goofier on the other channel for sure. It's, I mean, I don't know. It depends on that. Sometimes I, I, crack a few jokes in the vape videos, but I'm just kind of like, you know, you have, you're kind of focused on that one product and, you know, trying to say everything around that. But with the other channel, it's, it is more just like, I can say whatever you want and you're just chilling. And also, you know, we're less worried about offending people on the, on the new channel. I mean, with the vape channel, there are quite a few older people, People, not saying all old people are uptight, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Some 60, 70 year old grandma might not want to hear Vanessa and I talk about, you know, anus anus issues and, and things of that nature. Yeah. It's like Brian's channel. <laughs> yeah. I talk about that everywhere. Uh, tell everybody the name of the channel. Yeah. Tell everybody the name of the channel. Matt and V. There we go. Matt and V. And some of the stuff gives you a little peek into your private life a little bit. Uh, a lot of it's parodies and just funny, you know, skits and stuff like that. But uh, have all your subscribers yeah, it's making, making fun of people sometimes, and all your yeah. vape subscribers have they carried over, or have you found like new subscribers who are not even on your vape channel? Or I think it's a mix right now. Like at first, it was mostly vape stuff. Obviously, I mean that's how we get the word out. But then um, we've had a few videos that have done fairly well, you know, and like. And we've definitely we definitely have some subs on there that aren't vapors now too, but I mean it's just I don't know it's another challenge it's always slow going trying to build a new sure. to build a channel and stuff. I mean it's nice having the vape channel too because obviously you can promote it on that, but you still don't have a huge turnaround. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Weren't you talking? Were you talking about before? I think a while ago you were talking about reviewing cameras or something like that. Was it just something you were talking about or no? Or was I hearing things? I could have no, I was re- I'm really into cameras. Okay. I don't know if I ever said I was going to review them. Okay. But I, I'm, it's it's a hobby for sure. I thought, well, could have sworn I saw a giveaway for a camera. Yeah, we did a giveaway, a camera giveaway on our on our new channel. Because I could use one, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> I, mean. I have too many fucking hobbies. Lately, I've been getting into guns and knives too. Like Vanessa makes <laughs> I want this whole sex, like live sex or uh, real real dog kick, but they're like so expensive. So I'm trying to find out if I can review one. The real dog. What? The real dolls. Oh yeah. I'm trying, but it's. I no saw reason. like there there was some documentary or something about that, like how those some of those are made, and it's amazing. It's so like intricately detailed. Like what did uh, yours come out to, Brian? The one you priced out? I think it was eight thousand nine hundred something dollars. But I wanted like individual eyelash hair from like third world country children. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> soft touch genitalia add on, and yeah, Mark's was even more expensive because Mark had the penis add on that was like <laughs> <laughs> you can pop it, it into the vagina. It comes with a penis adapter, so you could turn your female into a male, like. You never know. I, I have maybe no do. problem that's, reviewing that. No problem. That's versatility right there. <laughs> yeah. Depends on the mood you're in. Yeah. 
<laughs> I could see Mark contacting the company and being like, um, my fucking doll smells like Cheetos. How do I get this smell out of the skin? I don't know, sir. Maybe you stop eating Fritos when you're standing over the fucking doll. <laughs> Is chat going okay for everyone? Because my chat froze. I have a 10 second little thing on there. Okay, I'm just, mine doesn't work at all. <clears throat> oh, yeah, mine's fine. No, chat, you got to refresh. Chat's working. Yeah, the good thing about the channel, too, is uh, you could also do other stuff that you want to do, even if you want to review a camera on it. It's basically everything goes channel, right? Yeah, you got, you, exactly. You, you have more, it's a creative outlet. You have more things you could do. You know, most of our I, video ideas are just like we're sitting around and like something pops up into our head because of, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can do whatever you want. It's it's fun for sure. Yep. I mean, I still I do st with making vape videos, and you guys probably know this. Like, it's it's kind of a roller coaster. Some months you're definitely more into it than others. Yep. Lately, I've been more into it again. I've been enjoying it a little bit more. Like December and in January, it's it's and it's been things have been a little more positive with the advocacy, uh, you know, side too. Although we're still not out of the woods, obviously. But, you know, there's times when you just like, fuck, I don't feel like making videos this week at all. Yeah. And uh, it's hard I, to do know, it with, if your passion is not there. All YouTubers deal with that. I think, I mean, you hit, you hit that wall it, because it's not like just like a normal job where it doesn't really matter what kind of mood you're in. I mean, you have to go in front of a camera and I already look, well, you know, I already have resting bitch face as it is. So like if I'm in a fucking bad mood, I look like a really big bitch. Uh, resting bitch face is that what you have yeah resting bitch face like when i'm not talking people say i have resting bitch face. i look like i'm mad all the time that's me uh, too Everybody thinks it, i'm always mad do people ever stop you when you're out with you know with v and, and ask you why you're angry at her or like you're an abusive guy to her or anything like that well they only do that when i'm actually punching her okay good in the back of the head of course yeah um but yeah i mean it's uh, what were we talking about again? We're talking uh, about creativity <laughs> and expressing yourself. And so it's nice. I mean, I like having the vape channel and I like having that one niche topic that I focus on. And then the other channels basically just for goofs and, and doing whatever. It's still kind of stressful. Those videos take me longer to edit than the vape videos do. And that's, I feel like I'm fucking, oh, you know, between, I try to do like three to four on the vape channel and then three over there. And it's like, it's a lot of editing. I spend half my life fucking editing. I've been fucking slacking off. I haven't put up a video on the other channel in a while now. I miss those. I like the food unboxing videos. Well, that's what happened with us is like we st we we put out like 10 or something and then we didn't do any for like a couple of months. It's really easy to get out of the, the hang of it. Yeah. And then we just decided like the only way we're going to be regular is if we stick to that Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. And it's, it's definitely helped when you know, like there's no excuses. You have to have some piece of content to, to put up that day. Definitely. Brian's in a dry patch. Brian, you want to talk a little oh, bit about my, that? I'll express my feelings. Yes. So I think, uh, I'm definitely one of those people that has to be inspired and feel good. And uh, I have anxiety problems to begin with. So when you add anxiety with making YouTube videos, I don't think people that watch understand how difficult it is to put yourself in front of the camera when you don't feel in a good space to do it. And, um, you know, it's just, it's tough, man. YouTube life is not fucking easy. I don't care what anybody says. It's, it's a hard ass thing to do consistently. Mike Vapes makes it look easy, and to him it is easy, but he's one of the select few. Especially right, when Mike? companies breathe down your neck. Oh, I can't. Especially with the China holiday coming up, or Chinese holiday. Oh, man. it's even. China worse. has cars. I wonder if they would send me a car to review and let me keep it. <laughs> it is, and it's really easy to get out of the oh, – it's really – okay, like you miss one day, and then you're like, oh, what's another day? Right. And the, so it's just so easy to continuously like put it off. It's, you know, especially when you don't have somebody, well, I mean, you have the Chinese breathing down your neck, but it's not like you have a boss there, like, you know, get shit done, get shit done. And it's very easy to, in the summertime, I always put up less videos because it's easy to get distracted and slack. And off. I also, like, I also work a full-time job. Like I have a career outside of yeah. YouTube. So that makes it that much harder for me. Like, I eat whether I do videos or not. I don't depend on any of the income from the videos. Yeah. So it's it's a different motivation, you know. 
but I feel better. I, you know, when all, when all the products are the same lately, like all these, like for instance, I Joy's came out with like four tanks, sub ohm tanks, and then Joytech has, and they get so repetitive. That's when it gets kind of boring, and kind of lose motivation. Like you get you get overwhelmed. Yeah, it's just not... like twenty different things just come out of nowhere right at the same time. It's like, oh god, what the? Where do I start? And also the the social media time that it takes to keep up with your YouTube, your your comments, your Facebook, your messaging, your instant messenger, your emails. There's just a lot of behind the scenes besides the editing, besides the learning about the product, besides wanting to know what you're actually talking about. There's a ton of other work that goes on 24 hours a day. I just I I I got to a point with that where I just you have to at some point you just have to let go. Like and I still feel guilty, but I can't answer every message. Like people message me on my personal account and they message me on the suck my mod account and then the comments, obviously. And it's just, uh, you know, like with the comments, sometimes I'll look at them like the first 24 hours and then I just don't go back to them unless it's something that pops up that maybe I see, you know, on a notification and it was an interesting question, but it's like, and then people think you're a dick, but you just can't fucking do it. There's not enough hours in the day. You know, the majority of the time, the question that's being asked, it's in your video. Yeah. Yeah. And that's Later the most on in the video. part because yeah. they ruin it. The people that ask those questions ruin it for the ones that actually have an important question. Because then after like looking at your messages, the first, let's say you start scrolling, the first two or three, look at it, it's stuff that you already talked about in your video. It's in your video. And you just get discouraged. And you're like, you know, I don't even feel like looking at messages anymore. And it ruins it for others. Yeah, it's, it's tough because you don't want people that you don't want to people to feel like you don't appreciate them being there or that they shouldn't comment or anything, but it's just, I, I wish that I af could afford like an assistant. Yeah. <laughs> a person to do Honestly, editing I wish I could and afford responding. somebody to edit for me. If I could find, if I could afford to have somebody edit all my videos for me, I'd be able to, I'd be a fucking social media master and be on that shit all the time. If someone e emails me and the question is like longer than two sentences, I just, I can't answer it. I'll have sometimes have paragraph long like questions. Just can't do it. I can't read that long. Well, there you have it, Vape it's, Team fans. If you're ever going to message Mark Fagan, keep it like a uh, Twitter response. Well, there's some that are just, they go on, like on and on. It's like a book, and it's like, wow, I, had, I can't read I this. I had a guy that asked me to explain to him everything about temp control, uh, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, all the TCRs, the benefits. I was like, you mean I got to sit all day to answer this, qu <laughs> this question? <laughs> It's, it's on YouTube. It's rough. It's tough. Yeah. Well, and I, a lot of people, when you complain about this stuff, a lot of people are like, stop feeling sorry for yourself. You have a great job. And it's, yeah, I wouldn't trade what we do for anything. It's obviously enjoyable, but there's yeah. still some, some things that make you want to pull your hair out. I don't yeah. have much, much of that left. But, uh, the, but the majority of the questions that I get on messages, whatever, I usually, uh, if it's something that's important, whatever I answer them, I uh, so yeah, speaking of pulling hair out, there was a comment in chat earlier about what's with all the hats. Uh, there's three people on the panel that have receding hairlines, so that's why we wear hats. I don't know why Brian wears a hat. He has a full head of hair. But uh, Mike's thinning, Matt's kind of balding, and I'm balding, so yeah, that's the reason for that. Yeah, what's your deal, Brian? You need to be, like, frosting those tips and shit. Because I don't feel like... Cause I, wear, I wear a suit and tie to work every day, and when I get home from work, I just don't feel like taking care of that. I like to just chill, so... Yeah. Um, I just got a, <laughs> I just got a message from Victoria. Uh, oh, shit. She said, "Can I come on near the end of the show and address a very important matter about vaping here in Canada, please? This is bugging the shitters out of me. Message me back ASAP. Thanks." I know you're on the show. She said, "Is that the power vapor person?" It's uh, this is the girl that Brian's been having an affair with. No, this is uh, 65 watts. Is this the one that power vapes? Yes, power vapor. Four oh, no, 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 no. There you go. There was oh, a Mike deal Mike. in Canada where like they, uh, Thank you, Mike. One, of the, one of the really big banks just all of a sudden like canceled every vape company's account that like to be able to like charge cards and stuff. I don't think they have as many options up there too as like what, you know, providers you can go through. What's and up with that the whole talking about? It's been a big big story up there what's up with the mastercard thing i've been yeah. seeing that pop up that's like uh mastercard's like wanting to 
it, it's like a fee. I think they'll still let people do it, but they, you know, if you're going to take MasterCard at your, you know, vape shop or whatever, you have to pay some sort of yearly fee that I think it was like a couple grand or something. I could Five, be wrong. It's $500 a year. Oh, okay. So let, yeah, I got, actually, uh, I've been talking to MasterCard about it for my website. Uh, yeah, five hundred dollars they want, and uh, I heard a rumor is that now uh, Visa is going to do the same thing. Discover, American Express, they're all going to be jump on the boat to get that yeah. five hundred bucks or whatever. I mean, it's not like it's not doable. At least it's like they're still going to accept it, but they'll let you do it. But yeah, it still sucks. What's the? Re I mean, what's the reasoning for that? Like for the age verification, or just because it's oh. tobacco products, or? Because, yeah, just tobacco products, I think. Because they know they said, that you're desperate. They said it's because yeah. of the FDA thing. If they guess if they need to, I guess it's more work for them. Or it's have their own. It's just because they can. It's a it's a vice product, and they, you know, the government and banks and everything know that they can fucking bend over companies that make vice products, or you know, and they just always have done shit like that. Yeah, like sin taxes for states. Yeah. And yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's really it's really backwards the way they think about things. They sort of go about it the wrong way, and they don't think about the long term outcomes of any decision they make on the government level. It's all short term, short sighted, and it's really fucked up, man. Especially like uh, I was talking about it a few weeks ago in Pennsylvania. You know, they had in 2014 they added a um, a ta they added a uh, cigarette tax. It was like two dollars a pack, right? And it was like a one day $2 pack increase in taxes. And it was supposed to pay for like the high school in the Philadelphia school district. And um, so and I think they said something like they're down like 40% of their projected target for income. Right. So the problem that I see is, so here you are, you're, you're budgeting your school budget off the backs of smokers. At the same time, you're getting master tobacco settlement money that's supposed to be going to get people off of cigarettes. So you act like your goal is to help people, but at the same time, you're depending on income that, that supposedly, according to your projections, is increasing over time, right? Which is fucked up because it's bound to fail if you're successful at helping people's health. Yeah. So it was so fucking wrong. I don't well, know. And it's just like a, just the way society is, is completely broken too. I mean, it's the small businesses that usually get fucked in the ass. The big business corporations are the ones you know, not all, but it's getting away with murder. And it's the small, you know, the small vape shop type companies that just, they just get fucked because they can get pushed around. And then what also happens is you have all these small businesses that say, you know what, we have no voice. We have no lobbying power. We have no power to make any change. So yep. they all form together and create these organizations that really bans all these small businesses into one entity that gives them more power. But then that, entity becomes the big business that becomes the corrupt and it's fucked up there too. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's almost like, it seems like human nature that we act this way. It happens at every level of I mean, from, from institutions like, and churches and, and schools and private schools and every, everything does the same thing. It's almost like the, it's the way we work. Well, it's kind of one of the byproducts of capitalism. No, no, no system is perfect, but yeah. And I'm, I'm a capitalist. Don't get me wrong, but greed, greed is a powerful thing. And big people like to fuck over the little the little guys. And also, you're human too. And if you're big, you would be the same way. It's not like these people are different somehow. It's a slow gray area where you become the big guy and you hang out with other big guys and you justify your big guy behavior. And everybody wants to sleep well at night and think they're a good person. I don't think anybody thinks they're intentionally harming people. They justify it. Yeah. I don't think these nicotine or the tobacco control people – think in their heads that they're causing harm and putting people's lives in jeopardy uh, by pushing this anti-vaping agenda. I think they genuinely think what they're doing is good and good for the public. You know what I mean? Yeah. They've got themselves tricked for sure. I, I, I mean, you're right. It's not like they all, I don't think, you know, tobacco free kids is all sitting around saying, we know that this stuff's great, but we're just going to fuck them over. I yeah. mean, they, they get short-sighted information and, and uh, they, they, only take the info that fits into their way of thinking. A lot of us are like that when it comes to politics or anything, you take one bit of a bigger picture that fits into your way of thinking. And that's, that's what you go with. We're all very narrow. You know, yeah. Excited. They do that. They do the Facebook life type of thing, you know, where you unfriend people that don't see your, your position on things. Yeah. If you don't say the, everything that I say, I'll unfriend you motherfucker.
So has anybody gotten anything new or exciting this past week? I'm sorry, uh, Victoria. <laughs> I I can't accept messages from you on the live show. I'm sorry. I love you, Victoria. You're a beautiful person. I love your husband. But I, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, Victoria. Please don't message. Uh, you could talk to Brian after the show. Just give him a call. Mark will send you out that DNA 250 tonight. I'll Thank send you. you a, wow, she sent a long message. I would have Go accepted ahead. messages from me, Victoria. Unsubbed all these guys. <laughs> yeah. YouTube.com. Forward slash suck my mouth. Yeah, Matt will, Matt will take anybody. He's like, no, no, yeah. no, don't message me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what have I gotten this week? What have you gotten? Um, there's some. St God, what did I just open? I got something from Watofo. Did you guys get that? The Alto? When, oh, the new yeah, one. the Alto. Yeah, yep. Yep. Shit. And there's uh, fuck. I'm looking what forward to the troll. RTA. I'm looking for. Yeah, that looks too. sweet. That looks yeah. sweet. Yep, looks really sweet. I can't believe that thing's going to be what five milliliters or four milliliters. Five. That's fucking amazing, right? Yeah, what tofu has been killing it with their fucking RTAs and RT RDAs. This yeah, little for, serpent mini. Yeah, that's like their serpent. thing. That's what they're good at. Like for budget rebuildables, rippers or tanks, they're just there's not many that can beat them as far as you know that that price range. Mm-hmm. Mark, your ass is hanging out. Oh, that's our view. Yeah, I'm that's sorry. your camera, not mine. <laughs> I got this. I got this thing, and this is the Arctic Dolphin. Another stab watch from them. This one. Oh yeah, I have one of those. Those are great. Is yeah. that the? I can't. Is that twenty six six fifty or dual? This is the dual eighteen six fifty one. I have the twenty six six fifty one. They're actually done really well. They're, yeah, they're this, nicer than I thought they would be. Yeah, this one's pretty nice. Is that is the one that's like two hundred something bucks? Is that the one that's uh, limit only? Um, Having gifts is gonna be no care stocking and okay. Nope. Yeah, they're having gifts sent me an email and they probably sent it to everybody. I guess the Adonis, they're like putting it back out and it's exclusive to Heaven Gifts and it's only gonna be like seventy five bucks or something. They're doing like some sort of stainless steel frame, yeah, right? Yeah, yep. Something like that with stab wood. <clears throat> uh what else did I get this week? These the, well, I got the eye joy stuff. But, uh, I like. I've been loving this. Uh, this RTA, the EXO, RTA. This is pretty good. Yeah. So it's the. So it's an RTA. It's an XL sub tank. It's like a medium sized sub tank and a small sub tank, right? What so the EXO is the only X an RTA. I mean the EXO series, the EXO, whatever it's called. Dude, look, I mean, four different tanks from them. Yeah. It's a little confusing, but two of them are sub ohm tanks. One is a small, the XOS, I guess, is for small. Then the XOX is the larger uh, sub ohm tank. They got two sub ohm tanks here. Then they made the XOXL tank, which is uh, basically a sub ohm tank. It's the limitless XL tank coils. You could use the RBA base from that tank in here. And then the XORTA, which is strictly an RTA, with two size glasses. What I don't get with these companies is why don't they slowly roll the shit out? No. Come out with your base product first. Get, you know, if you're, I mean, think business minded here. Come out with your base product first and you focus on that and try to get as many of those sold. And then the people that like it will probably want the XL. And, the, you know, I, I don't I get think why. if you throw enough shit against the wall, if one out of the four sticks and that's successful, then it makes enough money for the loss of the other yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is with them now, I think. Yeah. yeah. And they also don't want to have somebody else come out with a similar product and then have it not be uh, relevant when it's time to release it. Yeah, I think because of the Chinese holiday, they're wanting to drop shit quick. That's another thing, too. And yeah. a lot of times after Christmas, you guys know, a lot of the stuff that did make the deadline before the holidays gets dumped before the Chinese New Year. Uh -huh. And, Mark and all, all of these products, of course, were soft launched before August 8th. Oh, of, of course. course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'll be soft launched for eternity. <laughs> Yeah, the, the yeah. RTA comes with a single coil deck and a dual coil deck. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's got the single coil. That's just like the Amit yep. RTA. It's got that build deck, but bigger. I got. A, I just got a package from OBS today, too, but I didn't really look at it. Maybe it's the new yeah, We got the OBS sub ohm tank. Maybe it, maybe so. Isn't that wasn't that out for a while though? No, they just released an engine sub ohm tank. Maybe that's really? what it was. 
Really? So this this new Geek Vape tank I'm showing everyone looks just like the iJoy tank, kind of the coil heads do at least, anyways. I don't know uh, that that tank that you just show that you're showing. Mm -hmm. uh, the EXO, the the EXO tank, mm -hmm. double tank, and the Smoke Baby Beast are all three the same coil. Wow. <laughs> they are all identical coils. They all fit in each other's tanks. I know, but at least they vape good. Yeah, I know it's on the boxes now for Geek Vape. They're putting it's like free sample. Yeah, on the boxes, which kind of and on that and that. RTA right there. If I'm not mistaken, they give you uh, a little uh, extension piece that you put under a, a Atlantis style coil, and it fits in that tank too. Yeah, there's an adapter. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. These uh, these Joytech mods, these things are beautiful looking. I know. Yeah, I got that as well. I need to test them. Out. Whoa, whoa, bitch, mother! This Sorry. fake leather, whatever it is. You said they're under little underpowered, Brian. I believe. It's, I don't it's know. It's a cool vape. It's a cool vape. It's not. It's, it does produce vapor. It's just I find that when I close the airflow off all the way closed, that it's a good vape for this type of device. Yeah, I've got mine twenty five percent off. Close it all. Close it all the way, Mike. Well, I can't all the way. You ain't get nothing. Look what I just got. It's closed all the way. Ready? Look, mine is closed all the way. Suck. There you go. Oh, you can't vape like that. It's crazy. Yes, you can. I'm doing it. I open it just a little bit. And it opens too much. I've been enjoying the uh, vapor, little vapor SO coils lately, too. I like those quite a bit. Yeah, those oh, are nice. Uh, e, e stock or something like that? The EUC e coils. C yeah, but one of, yeah, one of the tanks is called like the E stock or yeah. S stock. Something. The ones that like drop in, yeah, those are really nice. That's a great idea, and also that adapter. They give you that adapter that goes inside yeah. the Atlantis style coil. Yeah, so it'll go in like their old Vaporesso tanks, and also yeah, Atlantis tanks, and yeah, and that was it. a great idea that they did with that. This Definitely, tank, I got some tank from uh, Vape Sig, the guys that came out with that DNA mod a while ago. It's a single coil tank. What the hell is this thing called? I don't. It looks. That looks like the Gorilla Strap logo, but um, the Dip Tank or the Dip RTA, single coil tank. Hmm. Really nice. I know you guys can't see it, but they can see it. <laughs> You're really nice. You're a good human being, Mark Fagan. Thank you. Yeah, it's called the Dip RTA. It's a single coil RTA, with the offset post holes. Pretty nice. What about all this? Uh... Uh, CBD slash marijuana mail you guys get. I don't know if you guys get it like I do every fucking day. You mean emails? I have a sister that smokes a ton of weed, and I almost want to start accepting stuff and, and bringing her on to have her get high as shit in my basement. <laughs> there, there is one thing that I'm dying to try. Uh, Timmers showed it to me. I guess Pancake Man has a CBD, a Pancake Man edition, where it's like CBD, like 250 milligrams of CBD mixed with their Pancake Man. That looks really interesting. As far I as haven't tried know. CBD yet. I do no. want to try it. It works. But... Don't try it around Mark. He'll take advantage of you when you're sleeping. <laughs> a lot of the Chinese e-cig manufacturers over like the last six months or so have come out with separate companies, and they're now making, you know, different, different weed vaporizers and things of that nature. I've gotten a few. I ask you a question. So if if the line is blurred between the vaporizers for e-liquid and the vaporizers for marijuana. How does the FDA, who's not going to regulate marijuana, how would they control the import of these devices? And how would they be able to tell the difference between the two? I mean, a lot of what they say is that it depends on, like, if it's sold alongside tobacco products, you know? So, like, and you're right. It's it, it's gonna the way that the rules are written. It's never gonna be able to be fully enforced, and yeah. it's just gonna be a, a shit show if they try. Yeah. But um, I mean, there's a lot of uh, we you know each uh, what's it called? What's what's the oil called? Uh, Ash. Yeah, like the little oil, and they come with the little uh, um, atomizers, and those have a five ten on them. They're and uh, they go on they go into mods. So it's like. Is yeah. that wax stuff? Yeah, it's like the a dabs. Yeah, it's just like an oil. When, it, when they email me, oh, like, like like hemp oil. I mean, no, it fucks you up. It's like a constant. Oh, okay, okay. Like I, I uh, 
hadn't smoked weed for like six or seven years. And then I finally decided, oh, I have sleeping problems. I'm going to try it out here and there. And a friend gave me one of those. And it's like a, it's like a pre-filled atomizer. You can't fill it up yourself. And it's got this oil in it. And it's like two hits and you're just done. No oh, shit. But it has a five little 510 on it. And, and you use it on mods and stuff. I always tell them in China when they email me, like, if you're willing to send some, like, dabs or something to smoke with it, I'll review it. Yeah. <laughs> but they never get back to Mark, me. are you getting that person trying to send you bongs? Yeah, I've gotten so many bongs. Email. They won't stop. I keep on telling them, and... stop sending me emails. <laughs> it's always for glass bongs. I think wow. Cerevate came I out with that a, too. A there were some that. that were emailing a while back, and they were, like, offering, like, well, we'll give you, like, $1,000 to it. Yeah to review our bongs. Yeah, I got that too. That's exactly what it was. I had a, cl I had a clothing like, no, company contact no. me. They wanted me to to, to wear their clothing. <laughs> talk about the clothes. Could you imagine? So this device today we're going to be looking at is uh, from Joytech. And let me tell you something. Nothing vapes better than wearing this fucking shirt from Shenzhen, China. <laughs> you know what I mean? It would be fucked up. And I got this pretty pink thong from... Uh... Yeah, right. <laughs> I did get an email from, uh, oh, what was this company? I forgot. And they were supposed to send it um, at the end of uh, December. Vape. Uh, it was like an alcohol thing. And you yeah. set up the whole. Yeah. You, it was actually like a nice setup, though. It wasn't the cheap one where you just light the candle. It was actually like a, it had like a little tapper and shit. And you fill up this bottle with the vape. And then you pop the cap and you just inhale the vapor. It was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, I've gotten hit up by a few of those, too. That alcohol and then there was the alcohol company and the e-liquid company that were together, and they wanted to mail, like, cocktails that went with the flavor. Yep, I remember that, Mine. too. Yeah. I'm always a little bit hesitant to, to, to take the risky approach and try things that might not be considered, uh, especially in the climate that we're in right now. Where, you know, at, But at the same time, I am for free expression of products that I think adults should be able to make choices based upon whatever they want, and we shouldn't have to worry about these types of things, but we do. Yeah, I mean, I'm all pro legalization, and I'm obviously like I have, I but I do think that I, I right at this time it's not necessarily good to be like mixing other products like that in on a vape channel just because of yeah, like start, start another channel. All the scrutiny we're we, we're already getting. But the problem is, if you start another channel just for that, that company would not have sent you that to begin with. Well, yeah, because, exactly. Yeah. It would say, are you kidding me? You tricked us. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Brian, have you gotten anything? Have I gotten anything? You need to get off your phone. Are you frozen, Brian, or are you just not moving? No, I'm looking at my fucking phone. Stop I think <laughs> tonight we need to set up a review schedule for Brian. Yeah. For that... a New Year's resolution review schedule. He was doing pretty good. Uh, he did a live thing, a live review the other night. Two days ago, yeah. Two days ago. I did a live. But he did one thing that is always a big no-no. He looked at chat. He was reading chat, which is always like a big no-no. Never. Read I know, chat. man. I'm, I'm, I'm really struggling, bro. Just ignore the chat until you're completely done. Yeah, I know. I got sidetracked, and then I started sweating, and anxiety kicked in, and it was bad. And then try to stay away from the stupid questions. Like, yeah. you like it in the ass and shit like that, because then... When people I do have a new DIY show starting Monday at 8 p.m. that will be every single Monday. So I'm, I'm going to be on tap for Mondays on the Vapor Chronicles channel for DIY. And then on Thursdays, I'm going to be on the Vape team. So that's two days. That's not bad, right? Yeah, my uh, my brain works too slow to do live reviews. I'd be like, um, uh, <laughs> let me rebuild this again. Yeah, it's not easy. Mark's pretty good at it, though. Mark is deceptively – Mark's like a – one of those animals that lies in wait and you would think that he's not a threat. And then all of a sudden he pounces. He has such skill. He's like a samurai of that closet that he lives in. <laughs> yeah. like, don't fuck with Mark. He's got his shit on lock. He's right. skilled at many, many, many things. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it definitely takes skill to do shit like that and how you do like the multicam stuff. I, I'm not going to do it. It's not, I mean, once you start doing it, after you do it a few times, you get the hang of it. But the first couple times, can? there you go. Yeah, the first mine's couple always, times, mine's so. always horrible. <laughs> How does that look? 
So try this. <laughs> Mark is a smart retard. Someone <laughs> <laughs> smart retard he has retard That's strength Clark the rain man <laughs> he's go. like a rain man <laughs> wow so uh, usually we, we uh, finish off the show every week with talking about what our favorite devices of the week that we're enjoying the most is so why don't we start with you Matt what devices have you enjoyed the most this week You can. we'll do tank and mod um <clears throat> honestly i think and i just i did a review on it but i was uh i was enjoying the skybox uh all in one quite a bit this week it's not perfect but uh i enjoyed it that's that's probably my favorite new device that i've been using I, I do like this tank a lot more than I thought I would too. When I first saw the Duos, when I first saw it, I was just thought it looked a little too hardcore for me. But uh, triple coil, man, I don't know. I need I'm I've got some hair on my chest. Yeah, buddy. How about you, Mark? Oh yeah, uh, I've been enjoying the the RX three hundred. Other than the battery draining issue that I well, not issue, but right now it's draining evenly. But I've been enjoying that. And uh, Tank, what have I been enjoying? I've been enjoying that RDA from the, uh, um, oh, man. Vape? I'm going to forget it. Vape Dex? No, wait. Two Vape Dex. There we go. Two, two Vape Dex. Dex. There we go. Two, two VX RDA. There we go. Two VX RDA. And the Tank an awesome I've been enjoying RDA. was the uh, the 30 millimeter. Um, holy shit, my brain's not here tonight. Uh, Steam Crane Aromizer Plus, 30 millimeter. There we go. What airflow setting do you prefer that two vape to XRDA at? Uh, I use it on the bottom one, and like at like halfway, it has a lot yeah. of airflow. Yeah, that's, that's what awesome. I use it on. Halfway bottom. But the build quality in the thing is amazing. It's ridiculous, right? Yeah, it's nice. I'm gonna try to do a quad coil in there to see how it performs. Yeah, buddy. Make vapes. This is a hard one for me because uh, I've been. Enjoying this uh, aroma miser, the 30 millimeter, and this EXO. So it's like, uh, I think I might just, the edge might go for me because this is a smaller tank, the EXO. But I've been really enjoying both of these. But uh, this EXO I've been enjoying a lot. And from Mod, uh, it's going to be the Q Mini. Yeah, you love that. The engine in that looks so good too. I just can't put this device down. It's fucking. When are those uh, the 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 or the uh, the bigger versions shipping? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. The uh, the the G class. The G class. Yeah. That thing looks really cool. It's on pre-order everywhere. So. Yeah. Huh. I would assume the one that I'm 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 eager to ch and I saw that uh, Mike already reviewed it, but I'm eager to try the uh, the new the Goon LP. I'm, I should be getting that in a few days. Uh, I remember you saying uh, in one of your videos that you want to start doing more RDAs, right? Yeah, that's kind of one of my goals this year is to do more re a few more rebuildables than last year. All right. The owner of uh, this RDA right here, the two VX RDA. Uh, he just actually put in the chat that he wants to send you one. Oh, okay. A review. It's really nice. And it's easy as hell to build on. Yeah, if you're listening, just feel free to email me. Just suckmymod at gmail.com. There you go. Suckmymod at gmail.com. And, Vic and Victoria, if you're listening, suckmymod at gmail.com too, and I'm sure Matt will take care of you too. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. Uh, nothing okay. love, nothing, uh, he does have a juice line, Victoria, by the way. Suck my juice. So you're, you're a dick. There we go. She does reviews. She does juice reviews. So there you go. In the alley. Yeah. Nice. Good to hear, uh, Ginger Vapor. Yeah. And also, uh, Mike, speaking of Ginger Vapor, that fucking boxer with the uh, new batteries. I saw pictures of the Dual 18650. Yes. Thing is hot. Yep. That. And how about the Squonker? Ugh. The boxer squonker. I know. It's impressive, man. He's yeah, killing baby. it. He's killing it. Ginger vapor. Love it. So those uh, are those are what twenty seven hundred batteries, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Twenty twenty seven. Twenty one seven hundred? Twenty one seven hundred. Something like that. 
It's in between an 18650 battery and a 26650 battery. <coughs> yep. And they're 30 amp batteries and you get great battery life. Yep. So, I just got to buy a whole shit ton of those batteries. Can we buy them? Are they available to buy right now? Gonna, well, uh, when he comes out with the mod, he's going to be selling those batteries on gingervapor.com. There you go. I hope they have enough stock. I hope it's not like one of those things where they only want somebody that has them and you can't get a hold of them. Yeah, 2700s. Yeah, 2700. Uh, my favorite of the week is a tie. This Blazer tank has still been killing it. I've been loving the, the production, vapor production and flavor. It's just a great fucking tank. Yeah, it's good. Um, also, this uh, Serpent Mini. I love it. Great flavor and uh, awesome from a Tofo. And um, the mod that I've been enjoying is still the. Uh, the, the 166 from, from Lost Fate. I love it. I use it every day. So there we go. Matt, did you ever get the theory on the DNA 166? They just sent it. I just got it last week, but I haven't started you. The new, newest version or whatever. Isn't there like a new color or something? So like that? You got the black? Yeah, but I haven't even opened it. I need to open it. Oh, you need to open it. It's fucking I was checking yours out and I wonder maybe it's that mod. I don't know. Yeah. It's fucking awesome, man. Because it was, they said it was like their new finisher. Or yeah, it's something. probably you got the black version. Yep, it's an awesome mod. I feel bad, but like sometimes I don't open a box for like a week. If I like, I I'm just fucking behind. I'm like a vape mail crackhead. I like. If I, I open it, then myself. I'll start. If I open it, then I'll start playing with it, and you lose track of what you're doing. Yeah, that's, that's actually the smart way to do it. Uh, I don't follow that routine. What routine do you follow, Brian? I don't follow any routine. I have issues, man. I need like guidance or something. I will guide you. Thank you for my father. <laughs> Let's get you on some meds and get you back reviewing. Yeah, I'm on meds. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually on a lot of meds. I've been changing them up for a while now. Trying yeah. to find out, uh, yeah. Hey, I've been there before. It's tough sometimes. It's fucking hard. Not yet, Jim. Anyway, everybody, I'd, I'd like to first of all thank Matt from Suck My Mod. I uh, love having you on. I respect your work. I respect your channel. You were one of the first people I watched when I started my channel. And uh, I think you're a great leader in our community, and I appreciate you coming on. Well, and, thanks, uh, I always yeah. have a good time coming on here. It's fun. Uh, so everybody uh, watching, subscribe and check out Matt from Suck My Mod, Suck My Mod channel on YouTube. And also check out Matt and V for a good time. If you like sauna underpants or sauna pants. Yeah, I, I'm on there in minimal clothing, quite a few videos. I like awesome. the glowing yeah. knife video. <laughs> yes. <You're> outside. <laughs> that was like one of the, that was one of the, you know, when you come up with ideas like that, sometimes it just seems a lot funnier in your head. Uh -huh. You do it and you're like, God, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> I have to put a video up today. So it, it wasn't my, my favorite. But check out our newest one. We uh, reviewed a, a hundred dollar pack of toilet paper. Yeah, I saw on the on the feed. I haven't watched that one yet. I haven't watched the other one too. The chin. Oh yeah. Yeah, I gotta watch the chin first. I haven't watched the chin yet. It's like wiping your ass with pure silk. It was well. It was like we're there. The big trend on on YouTube right now and BuzzFeed kind of started it is like they're doing like the finding the most expensive products they can. You know, like they did one that was like twenty. $20 cake versus a thousand dollar cake. So we were just like, what's it, what are some stupid products that we could do, do this with? And I found this fucking toilet paper. That's so expensive. It's like handmade in Japan. Holy shit. Like the, even the art on it is done by hand and each roll is like signed by the, the maker and stuff. It feels amazing <laughs> on the ass. I still like wet wipes the best. <laughs> wet wipes keeps me too damp down below. Like, well, I, you got to have the right system, dude. You start out with wet wipes, but you do a final dry wipe at the end, so you're not. Yeah, you don't want to feel soggy. <laughs> I use. Mark, I use wait a minute, you don't leave the wet <gasps> wipe in there. The whole day. <laughs> that's, that, that's actually called a butt. I thought we were supposed to have swamp ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mark barely wipes to begin with, so we shouldn't really talk about this. I'm a little ghetto. I kind of just run the faucet and run my paper across the water and kind of wipe, but then the paper ends up tearing, and I gotta pick the little pieces out of my ass. It gets pretty grabs, messy. He just grabs his ass like like a like a clamshell and just swoops his ass and puts it under the faucet with his hand. Yeah, you could do the poor man wet wipes where you just dip it in the toilet water first, you know. And that's you know, not a bad idea. Yeah, I gotta try dipping in the toilet water. 
Well, there you go. Not only vaping excellence, but also techniques on how to keep your ass fresh and dry. Yep. Flushable wipes aren't flushable. Don't flush them down the toilet. I have a whole box of cellulite cotton over here that's huge. I could probably start wiping with that for a while. I would. <laughs> Super absorbent. That's got to feel good on the ass. I plug my asshole up like it's a gaping wound. You know when people have like an open wound, like a an abscess, they get popped and cut out, and then they pack it. I pack my ass with cellulite cotton. Well, see, that's why you got to sit on there for a good. That's and I tell this to Vanessa because she's like, I don't get why you need to take so long. She'll poop in like thirty seconds and be done. You got to sit down and you got to let yourself heal afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you got everything's got to tighten back up. This I can't believe I just fucking said. That. You ever take a shit that's so bad that you have to come back <laughs> into the bathroom like a half hour later just to wipe again? Like even though you wipe and everything's gone, do a video on that. A half hour later, there's always something that just yeah. That's called a breaker. That means that you didn't have a squatty potty and have your legs elevated enough. You yeah. need a clean push. And when you change your diet, Mark, you'll actually get full shit that come out of your system, and you're actually yeah. the, the you're leg high. the legs up high does help. Sure. It does. So to actually, like when you got a healthy, when you're on a good diet, you got a nice clean break. Yeah, like it's just a smooth push. It comes out, and then it just falls off. It's like sharp on one end, sharp on the other, yeah, almost like nice. a snake. And uh, yeah, but you get what you get is dry, rough, <laughs> not moist enough, and then you get a half break, and then it, it sort of comes out and peaks, it peaks its head out, and then it goes back in. But when you start to walk, it starts to travel out again. Yeah. Yeah. So you're getting shit between your cheeks, and you get irritated. Sorry, and everybody. Work. The show has derailed. <laughs> yeah. There's, um, but I mean, honestly, this has been the most educational the last There's five years. Learn. There's a lot to learn. And this is things that your parents don't tell you about. And that's why we're here. It's something you have to perfect over time. I mean, you, you get your own routines. And yep. And if anybody wants detailed accounts on how to do it properly, you can contact Matt at sickmymat at gmail.com. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. I'll include, pictures, I'll include pictures when I yes. uh, get you back. Yes. Do some consulting. For you. So thank you for watching the vape team. We love you guys. Same time, same place. Cloudy Entertainment next Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And check my new show out on Monday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. DIY with Fresh 03 in the kitchen. We're going to do it live Monday. And uh, that's pretty much it. So no means no, Mark. We thank haven't, you. We haven't decided on the uh, the final word to end the show. Is it no means no? I thought it was something else. How many weeks? How many weeks do we have to do this? <laughs> Don't, the week, are we going to demote him back to a guest? We Is haven't it, sat down and actually... Are you trying to be a guest? We haven't finalized it. Does no mean no actually kill it? Junior member. Get your shit together. <laughs> a junior member pin. You know what I mean? For a shirt. I don't like no means no because that just I don't like that. I'm not comfortable with that. How about yeah? Uh, okay, so no means yes. Is that better? No, it just doesn't seem like a good final word. End it. End it's good. End it. Can we all agree on that? End it. Good night, everybody. All right. Have a wonderful go. evening, everybody. Like, no, no. Fuck that. I like no means no. All Sorry right. we ruined your dinner. All right. <laughs> I like end it. Yeah. All right. And say end it. End it. All right. No, no means no. I like that better.